This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And by Adjuster TV Plus. Get unlimited access to a growing library of the best adjuster training videos created by the most trusted name in claims, Adjuster TV at adjustertvplus.com. If you're just starting out, um, you want to try to, to be able to say yes to as many things as you can. Um, if, if you have no desire or no ability to do field work, um, which, you know, again, I say this all the time, but there's no zero wrong with that. I think people that want to climb roofs for a living are absolutely insane. And I did it for 20 years. Um, it's dangerous. I mean, it's, you know, one slip, one slip can, it can wreck your, the, the most minimum injury can wreck your summer, right? You break your wrist, break your ankle, you know, you're half of, you're, you're not as effective. I mean, you could probably do something, but you're not going to be able to, if, as a, especially as a cat property adjuster. Um, and that hasn't even worse. crossed my mind. I'm like, okay, I'll climb a roof any day, but it's like the, yeah. the, the deployment, the, the length of time, unknown length of time, you know? Sure. That's sure. Hard for more, a lot of people with, a ball and chain and, and some additional chains. A ball and chain. <laughs> Bunch of chains. The, here. Cool thing, the ball and chain at home, you know, and yeah. all the, the things that go along with it, you know. And so um, um, that was more. I would concern. say. Yeah. So, gen so again, generally speaking, um, I would say for, for, for most people, um, there's a couple of ways to go. I mean, you can um, go do field property, right? And I'd say the, the very absolute start of all of that is to is to do um, virtual claims, right? So you photo and scope, you got your phone, and you just go out and you, you have the address. And you know, you say they're they said the appointment for you, they expect you to be there at four o'clock, walked around the house, take the pictures, go up on the roofs, you know, find the damage, take pictures of it with your phone, and then just leave and go to the next one. and You're done with it, right? Um, that's the simplest thing for, for, for people doing um, claims. And I think Houston's a big city and I'm certain that there's, there's local work there for that. Also, there is auto claims, which I, I, I strongly recommend people consider doing um, to get started immediately, you know, uh, making a little bit of money, right? Just get, and getting your feet wet. Um, property and auto, you, you, it's the motion, the motions that you go through to scope a loss are kind of similar, right? You're, you're walking around, you're taking overview pictures of things and then you're looking at you're zeroing in on the damage and getting pictures in a systematic way every time on a building or a vehicle or whatever it is. Um, and then you, you may have a little bit of interaction with the insured, right? So doing virtual property or doing auto claims like that, um, great way to get started. It's a great way to um, kind of get your people get their sea legs under them as far as like learning small parts of the process um, and then building on that by getting you know more and more involved assignments and getting actual claims assignments at some point. Uh, and this, again, this is like there's another path I'm going to kind of go through, but this is like the probably the right. super right. simplest, easiest way for, for most people who are, who are interested in doing field or desk. Um, Right, so you do those virtual claims, property claims, photo and scope claims, the auto claims, um, which are kind of basically photo and scope on the auto side as well. Um, and then those are things that you can do nights and weekends, days off, um, you, you, you know, in a big, big market like Houston, uh, there shouldn't be any travel. You may have to drive all the way across town, which I mean, that that's basically like traveling in that city. I mean, it's a huge city. Um, but you're not going to, you know, Des Moines or, you know, Minnesota or something like that. Um, and if, and if there's, you know, a hurricane hits Houston, I mean, you can go do property claims right there at home. Um, and then from there, uh, that's kind of the thing. And, and those are, can be wind and hail claims or they can be just daily claims or they can be kind of overflow claims from some hailstorm last summer right? right and then when storm season hits that's when you know the a lot of the i firms will draw out of their photo and scope 
sort of pool of people, the people that are like yeah. in the system, they're, they're going out and doing this work. They're able, the firms are able to look at the work and say, yeah, they're doing a good job. You know, we're, we're getting them calibrated and they're, they're, it's clicking with them. Um, let's put them on the storm in Omaha, right? And that may be where they want you to travel and go do hail climbs like that. Um, so that's kind of, that's, that's a way to get into it, I think, where you can do it immediately, no matter if it's January or July or whenever it is. Um, that's a good way I, that I, I suggest to people to do it. For, for if somebody only wants to do to do, be able to do stuff from home, which these days, like we're, you were just saying, is absolutely viable. Um, they still want to, you know, a, a, some companies are going to, um, the relationships that they have with their carrier partners, they're going to send you a computer and a couple of monitors and a, you know, a desk chair and a, they're going to send you all this stuff, right? And then they, they're going to have you use their equipment to do remote desk stuff. Um, a lot of companies feel more comfortable I think you kind of alluded to this. They feel more comfortable by having you come to an office of theirs and do like a, a local or a, like a, I guess you're doing, you're like a desk deployment um, for a, several weeks or two or three months or whatever it is. And um, then they can, they can train you and you've got people right next to you, right. in either side, either side on either cubicle and you can kind of look over the side and say, Hey, I don't know how to do this thing. Can you show me real quick? Or, you know, yeah. so you're in an environment where you're getting a lot of support. You're able to network with people directly, right? So a lot of those people in, in, in those buildings, in those like deployed desk deployed situations are going to be the ones that are end up being in the field later or doing remote stuff. And you can get on like messenger or whatever, or texting them and being like, Hey, you know, it's Carrie. We were in, our, we were in, you know, Houston together, da, 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 the, the, the alacrity thing or whatever it is. And, uh, you know that that person is doing the same thing you are. I got a question. What do you do for this? Before I go to the manager, let me ask you this, right? This is kind of, yeah. that's what I would, that's what I do do. And that's what I did with the people, everybody that I knew was if I had a question, I was like, Hey, are we still doing blah, blah, blah with the thing, right? You text my buddy instead of calling my manager. Um, and then um, you also, you're able to network with the, the managers in the office, right? Whoever's running the de desk deployment, situation right there's going to be some manager in there that's kind of you know walking the aisles and helping people out and, and you know conducting meetings and trainings and all that kind of stuff and those people are often involved with every other aspect and they're looking they're watching every time you go into an office at an IA firm even for the smallest little like um, meet and greet you know like simple carrier certification they're looking for people they're looking for people that are you know, seem really interested and in this stuff clicks with and that seem to be enthusiastic, well-spoken, you know, can spell, use good grammar, all that kind of stuff. Um, they're looking for those people. So they're watching you, right? So they're watching your, your work, how fast, you know, if, the, if you're if you're asking the same question over and over again and you just not, it's not get, you're just not getting it, you're probably not going to go much farther than that, right? But if you're if it clicks with you and you're you're leaning over, you're still doing really well, and you're leaning over and helping your your neighbors and bringing them up, then they're going to notice you, and that's when you know that's that's when the other opportunities present themselves because they're going to be like, hey, listen, all right, so we think you're ready to go ahead and go home, right? But if you know, we really like how you interact with everybody here at the office. So if you want to be a trainer, you know, we can do that. So the things pop up, right? Um, but if you really want to be home. Um, then that's when they say, all right, well, we think we're, we think you're ready. You know, you're, you're great with the customer on the phone. Your estimates look great. Um, this is clicking with you. And even if we throw something at you, that's a curveball, we know you can catch it right behind your back. Um, so uh, I think for those two different paths, um, obviously you can go from deployed desk to the field or from doing virtual like field stuff to remote desk, but the in, for either one of those is going to be, you're probably going to have to to be outside of the house. I guess is the bottom line. Um, mm -hmm. I think that there are, are there certainly are firms that will um, skip that, especially if you live in a remote area, like in Western North Dakota or something like that. Probably would be a no brainer for them to just say, "We're just going to do Zoom calls every morning at, at you know eight and get you trained up. We'll send you the gear and." Cause it doesn't make any sense for you to, you know, 
unless you wanted to come on down to, to Houston or Dallas or whatever. Um, so, you know, IA claims, there's so many um, opportunities in this work. Yeah. I think uh, generally speaking, the, the more like varied diversified experience you have um, doing these different things, like if, if you're doing the desk thing and maybe you do a little bit of field locally, or you go to do a two weeks, you know, a, like a, a windstorm or like a, a anything besides hail is going to be like a two to three week deployment. Pretty much okay. evening. I wouldn't except for maybe with the exception of like hurricanes and fires. So like if you have a windstorm in Little Rock, for example, people are going to walk outside and see the tree limb on their house and be like, ah, shoot, and call their their insurance company to file a claim. Mm -hmm. Right. And so those all come in all at the same time. And then they bring in adjusters, they handle those and everybody goes home two weeks later. Right. With hail, it's you may go homeowner might go outside and be like, oh, the house looks fine. I guess we're OK. And then all of a sudden, two months later, the neighbors start getting new roofs. Right. So that's that's why a hailstorm is, is a wild card that could last two weeks or could last six months. Right. Um, Way to snow, same deal. It's like if, if stuff breaks and it's obviously broken, um, it doesn't have just little tiny spots on it like what hail does. Um, so if you're willing to do to do that, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Maybe uh, uh, you know, obviously those are going to be in the summertime. If you got little kids, I mean, I don't, it probably wouldn't make sense. I, it's and it's up to you guys. Um, yeah. But. You know, handling if they say, "Oh, we got some third-party liability claims to handle from the desk." Do it. Go do auto. Try to go do a bunch of stuff locally, even if it's field stuff, um, just so that you have that experience under your belt. And and when you, because when you go to do remote remote desk work, yeah. um, you're going to be getting photos and scopes from somebody out in the field. That's that was walking around. Was their thinking, yeah, I'm like, okay, that's. I was trying to wrap my mind around the the work content. Yeah, it's like okay, yeah. that's already been done we're going in the, on the backside and doing the estimating or yep. then using my Xactivate skills or whatnot. Um. Adjuster TV. We have not even begun to procrastinate. 